the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Boy, the Satan comes in, showing he comes in subtly. But he come in immediately if you go back. Look, based on this, is almost immediately if you look at it. Mm -hmm. We talk about we talk about chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, the fall of man. Homeboy ain't making the three, ain't made it for three chapters. <laughs> <laughs> three chapters. Three chapters of man explain the whole issue of man after that. All we saw in there is issues after that. Matter of fact, even, it's funny, even the first man was got offended. Got offended. <laughs> he got offended and killed his brother. Mm -hmm. So, 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 Bishop, all I was saying is that what I was getting out of that parable was a restatement of the beginning. It, 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 it's how he was explaining it. Go ahead. What's your CRT? Huh? What is your CRT? Let's see your CRT. I ain't did it. That's for Sunday. I was going to get mine for Sunday. I just want to let him hear what I heard from. We said in that chapter, the chapter verse 9, he that has an ear, let him hear. Let him hear, right? He that has an ear to hear, let him hear. And I, I told, as a minister Hopper, that this obviously, this parable is saying, I want you to hear from me. The 10 to 20 is an explanation that Jesus gave as a mystery, but it's obviously this, this, this parable is to talk about the kingdom of God and restatement of Genesis in the beginning. What? what? That, that this pattern is the beginning, is the same pattern that's been going from the beginning. So what's the CRT? I tell you, I'm gonna get to you Sunday. Okay. I'm just telling you what I'm just telling you what he did. Well, we ain't supposed to do it today. <laughs> Elder, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get mine. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm halfway in and halfway out. Did uh, you do? I don't have to with me. I'm just, I'm just on the road right now. And then we asked, and then we asked Minister Hopper uh, to chew on it. Now he may have something now. <laughs> <laughs> now I wrote something earlier. He did. I wrote something he earlier. He has a CRT. What did he say? I said you already probably have a CRT. Yeah, you um, you, you asked me to have one ready tonight. Oh, you did. Okay. <laughs> See, we must bring our Sunday if, it, if based on the agreement, right there, at Brother Addison. No, you oh, think, I don't you know. bring it tonight. You said tonight. Did you say tonight? We all agreed to bring it tonight. You're supposed to have it last Sunday. I thought we were gonna redo it again Sunday. No, no, no. no you're supposed to have it tonight. Oh, see, I didn't see. I didn't have the ears to hear. I heard. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, and that's good, right there. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, well, 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 Addison, brother Addison, then he he must have he heard he must have heard the right thing. So, so brother Addison, what you got? I told you mine. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I'm on my my cell phone, and I don't even know how to to do that. What I have written down is on my iPad, and I got eight percent battery life on that. So I don't you know. You want to read it real quick? It. Can you read it? All, all you got to do is. Uh, Post it to the uh, screen. Okay, but I don't have it on my phone. I'm on. I'm online on my phone. Right. Just go read it. You can read it though. You can read it. You want. You want. You want. Is it fifteen? Is it fifteen to eighteen words? It's. Let me count. Let <laughs> <laughs> oh, me count see. mine too. A little more than 18, just okay. a few more. Okay, so. So, uh, and then, you know, I have my original CIT. If, 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 if we want to go with my original, 
I had one from the beginning. Uh, where's mine at? Yeah, here's mine. And I kind of, but once again, I can't. I, I, I can feel breath, a little bit breath in. I, I, I can feel it somewhere. It was for God propagated by the the of God is spread by propagation of the gospel, which, which stays the post of the spread of it. How is it? <coughs> so I'm pretty close to that. Anyway. And my 15 words, because that's 15 words right here, 18 words. The I, kingdom of God I, is... And see, I didn't put the kingdom of God in there, but that's what we came with an issue. Uh, but yeah, that's said, what it was about, right? Yeah, right. Was that. right. Because with, with the spread of God, God, which they the most. What you read, Elder? The kingdom of God is advanced through the spreading of the gospel, which Satan the post. Okay, you have to like that. Yeah, Satan the post is right. That's it. Yep. Right. That's it. And that's how I was getting it. Like Mars is written in there, the devil stole from them, but you were good ground and produced good fruit. And I was talking about Jesus is the person who who sold good ground and produced good fruit. But I, I wanted, all I know that my CTI is definitely in that line, what you're saying is that this is a spiritual warfare. I said it's exactly. Sunday. This is a spiritual warfare. And, and the tools that the devil used is offense. He uses cares of this world. He uses deceitful lust to draw man and choke the word of man, of God's word in the heart of man. So I, I just want to make sure, even if I try to, I don't know, if I take this out to get the kingdom in there, I'm still going to say that devil is part of this parable that we have to can't leave out. Uh, you know, he opposes it. He goes right. to get the spread of the kingdom, man, advance the kingdom. We know that. Exactly. We know that he goes to get the advance of the kingdom. And the parable gives us details on what those what those those oppositions are. Yeah. How they manifest themselves. And, and that's the intent, why the intent of spreading the, the, the seed. But right. the spread is I'm not ashamed of the gospel for the power of God. Salvation is that believe that's the advancing of the king. Exactly. And that's why I'm saying is that Bishop when I was talking to him before you came was it to me is almost restating in a very good short synopsis, I mean, if you want to talk about God's CIT, to take Genesis 1, 2, 3, that, because that's how it led me to say, hey, I'm restating the story. I gave them dominion, which is kingdom, rulership. I told them, I gave them seed so they can replenish the earth. Every seed produced after its own kind to include him. Everything was given a seed. In order to replenish the earth, you gotta sow. And then, then we talked about the fact is how the enemy comes in, came in back in Genesis, starting back in Genesis. And he drew that woman, choked that word that was put in that woman's heart. That woman decided to portray the will of God and Adam did too, got offended too. And uh, that's why I'm saying this bishop is restating the story. So my CIT is what you see. Okay, so where where in Genesis is there preaching going on? The, preaching. The preacher, the God, God gave the word directly to him. That's yeah. he, he told him. And she even yeah. she was she where was able it, to restate it. Where does it say that God was that God sold the word to them? Right here. Uh watch this. I'll bring it back up. Watch this. Back in Genesis. Let me bring it up. Get back in one. I mean, Genesis, Genesis over here. Let me get Genesis. Let me bring it over a little bit. She said she repeated the gospel. Well, not the gospel. She repeated the word that God gave. And uh, the woman said unto the serpent, uh, we may eat of the fruit of the garden, the, the, of the fruits of the trees of the garden. But the fruit of the tree, which is the midst of the God, God said, you shall not eat of it, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. That, that is a, when we're talking about the, the gospel or the word of God, God 
she and i don't know if you know the bible is not clear that she was told directly the bible basically said to adam don't eat of that tree and then he but, did wait well you have to understand you're kind of mixing oh, well, I, no but I, was, I was just saying there's a parallel parallel to it that's you asking is what what do i hear from the i mean that's what jesus said in the parable right he that has an ear let him hear right well, and i'm just saying what i heard or led to was this is a restatement of the of the fall of man okay and all i'm saying is if you look carefully at the text of mark yep going back to it, it now. describing it is setting before you an activity that is go presently go going on. Yes, sir. What you're looking at in Genesis is a is, is something that has already happened. It, well, it, it it right it to me. I say I agree totally on what your statement was. It happened, but it, to me, I say it set the pattern that continues up to this day. So, if if I'm not mistaken, well, let me see. In your your definition of a CIT, it says it's written in past tense. Yes. Correct. Right. That interprets what the text meant then. Right. Okay. So, before my 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 uh, iPad dies. This was my CIT. It's detailed. Well, this is this is I'm listening. I'm leaving on. He there. Okay. Detailed information or process given on how God's new covenant affects the hearts and minds of mankind. That's my CIT. Okay. Okay. Now, so why did you choose uh, New Covenant? Because he now, was now, sharing the now gospel. I'm asking, now I'm just asking to try to see what your line of thinking is. The gospel, he was preparing, he was abstracting the good news and teaching the kingdom of God. It is yes. at hand. Yes. So that is the gospel. Yes. So that seed that is being sown is God's word, which yes. is the gospel in the hearts of mankind. Yes. It was written on stones and paper. Yes. Now it is sown in the hearts of man which yeah. is the process of the new covenant and how it affects the heart. But not only the heart, the mind, because if it doesn't get into the heart, then it is the mind that is controlling the germination of that tree. It's determining the ground that that tree, I mean, that that word is being sown on, that the seed is being sown in. Because if you don't believe, then it won't go into the heart. And that is the mind. That's why I said it's the heart and mind of mankind. That is my central idea of the text, what I got. Okay. Uh, there's a couple of things that's interesting. I noticed that you uh, kind of equate uh, the gospel to the word. For God's word? Yes. So, so, uh, let me just say this. You could very easily... Well, actually, it's, what I meant is, well, well I mean, I'm saying... Well, I agree with, I agree with it. I, I'm yeah, but, what, but what I wrote was the new covenant. Yes. But what I'm saying is being so is the gospel yes yes so 
So you could very well read verse three to say this. Behold, that went out a sower to preach the gospel of the kingdom. Yes. Sure. So do you agree, do you agree with that? Yeah. Yes. Now, because when he says later on in his explanation that the that the that the that the soul that the seed of what the soul of souls is a word, what he's actually talking about is the gospel. He's actually talking about the gospel of the kingdom that yes. he himself is preaching. And I think in this context, I think initially he's really talking about himself. Yeah. Yeah, and the reason just as though just as staying in, in track when we said in Genesis one twenty six when he said he gave them dominion over the earth. Uh, he said it twice. It was talking about him establishing a kingdom that he gave mankind to have dominion over. And if we looked at the word dominion, it does indicate ruler and rulership. You know, to me, I'm saying he's been talking about the kingdom from the beginning. But all the way back to the beginning, he was talking about the kingdom. That was the one we looked up. This is just to throw that, see where I'm coming from. It's, uh, he, he was who, talking about position on earth. He wasn't yeah, he, talking about. Right. The, the, right. He was yeah. talking about, he, he's still talking about the kingdom. He said the kingdom of heaven is like, right? And he even talked about a lot of the parables talking about the king went, left some people. He talked about the king gave talent. Remember the one about the talent, right? He gave one, one talent. He gave three people, one five talents, one two talents, one one talent. Mm -hmm. And then one, one joker buried it in the earth. Right? And he, he'd say, that's the one that got in trouble. While the others were at least multiplied what was given. That it seemed like to me he's like, even once again he's restating i gave adam a talent i gave him one talent i gave him one commandment and what did he do he screwed it up it seemed like he's oh, kind of, huh? he stole that talent into eat <laughs> <laughs> he he did he did he said this woman you gave me I gave you dominion, boy. And the first thing you're going to tell me is that when I gave you dominion, you gave it up. Yeah, he subjugated to his wife. He gave, he put her in the over him. So, so he, he gave up his authority and she gave up the authority that he he had. Because exactly. he gave it to her. Exactly. He gave it to Satan. And Bishop, this is the word we're using. Like, what, does that, what does that have to do with the kingdom of God? This right here, Bishop, is the kingdom. He, he established the kingdom. He, he's trying to establish the kingdom here, right? One second. Look at this, Bishop. We looked at, I'm just saying this from the beginning, he started talking about a kingdom. Uh, right here, it says dominion. Here's the definition of dominion. And he said it twice in that in that, that chapter. Right. Given man dominion. So, uh, so all I'm saying is it's not, it's just a restatement of a story that he always, because by the fact, why not have, his own intent was always about a kingdom. Well, how do you have a kingdom when the seed hasn't come yet? The seed, but you got to remember, we talking about from the beginning, Adam was, remember you got the first Adam and last Adam. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying, there's only one kingdom. Right. There's, there's only one kingdom. Right. Past, present, or future. There's only right. one kingdom. And, that and, kingdom cannot come apart from the true seed. Adam is not that seed. Well, Adam was the first seed, though, right? Adam is no. the first. Was he not? No, Adam, Adam is only a shadow. He's not the seed. When it said first Adam, last Adam. I'm just telling you. I'm just but, saying that if Adam didn't fall, he made it. I agree with what I'm just saying is that when he said it, when he set this thing up, he said, let us make man in our image 
in our likeness and let him have dominion, which what? I'm just saying refers back to kingdom. Well, that would imply that you could have a kingdom without Christ. Well, Christ is in the, when he said let us, he's talking about the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, right? Christ was the word of God. Christ is the word of God. Christ was made flesh. The word was made flesh, but the word returned back to where it was, right? Well, so Christ well, was in the beginning. Uh, well, you got, what we got to be clear on is this, though, is that it was intended from the very beginning, before the yes. foundation of the world. Right. That the word would become flesh. Yes. After what? Was it? I know we said from the Prince Edward brought that up about the fact is the foundation of the world. I think Edward was almost saying is that this had to happen because it was already a day to happen. But the, the, the point we're saying is that Christ was part of the creation. He framed the worlds were framed by the word that came from God, and the word was Christ. And the kingdom, I'm just saying he started talking about the, maybe that's a shadow if you want to say it. But that Genesis was was that's what that parable reminded me back to this whole concept that the kingdom was talked about from the beginning, and the devil who caused in the fall is also in that parable as well as in this one. That's what I'm just saying. So, so 